Alright, we are here. What's up everybody? Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition Citadel DLC Part 2. Welcome back. How is everybody today? Hopefully well. Good to see you all here. Thank you, thank you for coming in. And if you didn't see by that screen uh, in the intro, we are currently uh, doing a charity drive for UNICEF to benefit Ukraine. So, um, always appreciate bits and subscriptions and all that good stuff. But today, guys, let's focus on the donations for UNICEF. Um, if you're wanting to support and show all the rest of the guys that Mass Effect Wednesdays is the best streaming day, we got to make this day the highest supported day of the week <laughs> all right so Haley thank you so much for the gifted subs but anyway so I just want to throw that out there uh, if you're enjoying these please help us uh, show some support for Ukraine all right so today's a good day I just watched a hell of a movie for our movie reactions it's gonna be it's gonna be coming out in a little a couple weeks but it was very mind-altering. And I was like, oh no, I have to do Mass Effect right after this. So, I'm trying to get back into the Mass Effect zone. So, what happened last week, we had some amazing stuff with a Shepard clone. <laughs> it was crazy. But even though he did the unthinkable, which was to throw away Space Hamster, we got our revenge. We got our revenge. Anyway, uh, Corey just uh, donated two minutes ago. $20. Thank you very much, Corey. I'm going to try to keep up with everything, guys. Whoa. A lot of gifted subs. Uh, Safion7194. Thank you so much. 25 subs. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm going to try to keep up with everything. Like $100 from Varix 17 seconds ago who said, I've donated thousands of dollars on the effort already. What's 100 more? Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. Um, episode 4 of Moon Knight is already... I think it already dropped. You guys can confirm for me, but I put it up right before I started. So yeah, just, just a bit ago. Anyway... Am I... Is the screen good? Okay. $5 from Super Fodder. Thank you so much. Man. Uh, like I said, I'll try to keep up with everything, but we also have a hell of a DLC to go through. So every once in a while, I'll come back over here. But guys, thank you so much in uh, making what we do, uh, helping other people as well. Okay, so last time we uh, did the clone stuff, we have a party. To properly celebrate shore leave, crew members have suggested throwing a party. Gather party ingredients and invite friends over. We can do that. Is there anybody here? Or did everybody leave? Is this the same over here? A few ago, I had a to down yeah, it is. What else let that play out? What about messages? Email. Okay, still kicking. From Grace Sato, Commander Shepard. Just wanted to say how indebted I am to you, not just for saving my life, but for giving me a greater sense of a purpose. After our ordeal securing the array base on Onteram, uh, I n know now I have something more than my technical experience to offer from Grace Sato. Cool. Housewarming. Tali, Shepard, next time you're on a Citadel, I'd love to come by. No rush. Just nice to have a place there that you can call home. New digs from Miranda Lawson. Shepard would love to see it. Can't be any worse than that pokey little captain's cabin uh, on the Normandy. Pokey? Why is it pokey? Uh, invite me over sometime. I'm in the area. James Vega. Hey, next time you're in a sweet new apartment like Time to Kill, give me a call. Got something I'd like to show you. Uh... Trainer, Commander, I'd like to meet for lunch. I'll be in the Citadel Arcade area. 
All right, hopefully see you there. Drinks from Garrus. When you have a free moment, I thought we'd check out the bar scene around here. Let's meet at the Silver Coast Casino, upper floor. Hopefully, no dead arms dealers this time. Javik, Commander, I have received an interesting proposal that I wish to discuss with you. Meet me outside the casino at the far end of what these primitives call the Silver Sun Strip. Although it isn't made of silver or near a sun. Stupid primitives. And then, from your friends at Armax Arsenal Arena. We are Armax Arsenal. Are huge fans of yours, and we can't tell you how much we value your efforts in the fight against the Reapers. In an effort to raise both awareness and morale here on the Citadel, we've recently reskinned the holographic enemies in our simulator to look like Cerberus troops. We got a big, huge surge of viewer interest when we added Geth enemies a few years back after their attack on the Citadel, and we're adding Reaper forces as well. We understand how busy you are, but if you ever feel like unwinding on shore leave and giving our viewers a taste of what a real military veteran can do, we would love to have you come compete. You've got a complimentary pass waiting for you whenever you're interested. Thanks again. Cool. Man, you guys are really bringing in these. Um, I can't go down. Uh, let's see. $200 from Anonymous. $20 from Mr. Stealthy Ninja. Uh... Great desserts for great trilogy. Make sure to invite hang out with all the members possible. Jack M, $200. Unrelated, would you or anyone in the crew play The Outer Wilds or Horizon Zero Dawn? Um, I know that there's been interest for both of those games. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, Peculiar Mans, $20. And Bug Eye, $20. Guys, thank you so much. The, the support is just overwhelming. We want to thank you guys so much for being here. I thank you personally for especially being here. Uh, man, we have a lot to do, it seems like, and two hours to do it. Uh, I do not think that I'm like, no, that if we don't get it done uh, tonight, then, you know, we'll, if we need to go over, we'll continue DLC uh, next time as well. I should say three hours, not two hours. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, I don't think anybody's here. So I guess we just go out. Oh, you got left Commander, here. If you would like to begin the party, you will need to purchase supplies on the strip first. We gotta go to the strip. I have already placed credits in your account for this purpose. Oh, we got credits too, cool. You can use the console to invite people over. Okay. Do I wanna do that now? I understand that there's some, uh, in terms of, like, the timing in which you do things, like, a, the a best way of doing stuff, so, uh, from where? You said the console? What console? Explore the strip first, okay. Oh, okay, where I just was. Gotcha. Elevator. Uh, M Fitz, $20. Uh, Kalk Estes, 20 And Spencer, 10 Guys, thank you so much. Spencer says, doing my part. Ooh, wee, you chair spin. Ooh, wee, you chair spin. Sorry, I got distracted. Catalog. Ooh. Vibrant kitchen. Wholesome kitchen. All right, that's a lot of stuff. Um, should I just buy it all? Is Polish Vanity and Deluxe Vanity 
they go in the same spot, right? So I probably shouldn't buy both of those. But bedding, and then Vibrant Kitchen, I probably shouldn't buy both of those. Cozy or Posh. And we all can just buy it all and then choose later, I suppose, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna start buying. We got money. I know I saved all this money for a reason. And it wasn't to buy more guns. There we go. Bye. What do you have to say? I have to try to clean out everything you have. We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. I'm sure you are. Uh, we had Arya give $50 and Kimmy $25. Hugs to Ukraine. Thank you guys so much. This is so cool to have just a whole other part of the Citadel to explore. I mean, no one's really moving, but what can you do? Let's see, we got Javik, Saeed, Trainer, Purchase Party Supplies, and Garrus. Um, is there any order in which to do things, or do you just do things as you want to? I'm assuming it's just as you want to, but you never know. I don't want to, like, do something and then lock something out. Is there also any, like, like ship states that would happen on the Normandy? You need, you would need to leave and then come back for more ship states. Is that is it something like that, too, or are we just good? Outside the party, you can do what you want. Man, ten uh, subs from Mr. Grimm. Thank you so much. The, the support is overwhelming, guys. Thank you so much. All right, let's uh, go to Javik first, then. He is um, the Lower Silver Sun Strip, which is ahead and to the right. Yeah. Silver Sun Strip. Quests or I gotta find an agent. I'll keep that in mind though. All right, we'll wait for Javik here. Is it a little quiet? I can put it up a little bit. That's an inevitable part of my stream. Uh, bug eye, thirty-five uh, dollars over one thousand. Woo! Yeah, we've <laughs> raised already a thousand dollars, guys. Woo, man! Thank you. All right, I'll change the audio.
Alrighty, back guys. Audio should be fixed now. Man. Let's see, uh, Goer, $20. Guys, please take a look at the Polish humanitarian action and other organizations supporting over 3 million Ukrainian refugees who fled to Poland and found refuge here. Well, thank you, Goer, very much. All right, we are going to wait for Javik. You might be able to see Rick's head a little bit. He's doing some calibrations. It's not a big deal. <laughs> All right. You know, it's very important to have friends in your life that can do calibrations. Much like Shepard and Garrus, I have Rick. So thank you very much, Rick. Do you need this window? You got it, okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's uh wait for Javik. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in the feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Okay. Who says it will? <sighs> Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing. Perfect timing. You can play yourself. We're gonna be Attention. on TV. The Prothean is on set. Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places everyone. Quickly, quickly. You the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen room. Ah, you die now! Not yet. That line comes later. The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this feed. Yes. Now then, oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean, no like you. I love this Vorka actor. Say Prothean. This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Uh huh. Blasto, about time you showed up. That's the galaxy Blasto. is under attack by Reapers. If only someone had warned us about them years ago. Wow. This one tried. This one was ignored. I can't believe it. We're this meeting Blasto. On obstructed uh, actually, that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he this is so amazing. Won, <laughs> and now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait. What? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. The children! In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Oh, I do like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. The Spectre Club. I am a Spectre. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. <sighs> Level 7. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. I've never seen him with Shoot a gun sacrifice. before. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sovereign Half-Brother Sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! 
This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the sound. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the Genovage. Oh, Blasto, he's taking all my credit. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this is DLC? It gives me such pleasure. I can't wait to do more. Oh my gosh. Um, I didn't even see who sent a tree stream. I should look that up and thank that person. I have a lot of people. Just for all the support, I'll go ahead and say that the movie that we watched today was Train Spotting with Hugh McGregor, and it was a hell of a film. So I'm still having like I'm having scenes like that, having just watched that movie. It's been a crazy, crazy day. Uh, let me open up here, Treat Stream. Um, Martin LeFay, thank you so much. Uh, got me a pizza. I'm going to wait a little bit and eat it a little bit later, but thank you very, very, very much. All right, I'm going to put my chair up here, and we're going to have a great time, because that was amazing. Okay, let's uh, let's keep it going. What else do we have? That was Javik. We have Zaid at Castle Arcade, as is Trainer. And that is at 6, which is going to be back and up there. Got some mech fighting. Is that Arya the Arya we know that has the high score? What was Arya's last name? Ah, uh, James! He has a high score. Shifty cow. So what? We can play this game? Shattered Ezo. Punch your opponent to lower their health meter and earn points. Survive as many opponents as possible while earning points. Block incoming jabs to prevent damage. Charge up a punch to break the blocks. Jab to interrupt an opponent that is charging up. 200 credits. Press R2 to punch. Hold R2 and release a little more powerful punch and L2 to block. Okay, you guys want to play? That would be fun. I don't know if we're gonna get to James's level, but we can play. All right. Wait, I thought I blocked. I did something wrong. Watch out! Don't stop now! 
Come on, this is the height. Oh. You lost your head? Alright, I got 91. 91's good, right? Is there any, um, is there any other than bragging rights, like, story stuff to get my high score, or is it just for fun? Towers of Hanoi. Just for fun? Okay, let's check out Towers, Towers of, of Hanoi. Towers of Hanoi? I don't think so. Oh, never mind. Towers of Hanoi? I don't think so. We will not play Towers of Hanoi. Mass Effect 1 joke. Why don't I get that? Annoy. It's a reference to a Novera puzzle. Okay. Cool. Um, Relay Defense? Mouse, Bailey. Let's, we can quickly... Let's see. Controls is uh, target, launch missile, and send out ship. Let's play. Oh, is this like tic tac toe? I guess. Enemy is approaching. Game it up. Stay alert. defense these are just these are fun but we're here for friendship we can wait for trainer right here all right um if you guys didn't see we actually have a new goal of 2000 uh which we're over halfway at um i would yeah i would love to be able to hit that goal so this is uh, money that's going to a fantastic cause uh, there's a lot of people suffering in the world right now, and we're doing our little bit to be able to uh, to get there. So if you're enjoying watching this DLC as much as I enjoy playing it for the first time, uh, consider uh, donating down below. All right, trainer. Oh, trainer's playing uh, a game over there. and electrocutes you. Damn. Brilliant ending. Excellent use of the Day Lucian Gambit. Is this 
Space chess? Space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Nightwinds. The Asari played us and... We were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. It's really good. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Caesar. <laughs> Trainer. Would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. <laughs> right when I was going to say, oh my god, we just entered into like like a gaming uh, teenage movie. It went right into it. That's so great. She knocked me out of four tournaments. You've grown as a person? Win this thing. I'm kind of thinking win this thing. I don't know. What do you get? I don't, I don't know. I, I, I feel like it needs to be win this thing. Win this thing! Specialist. Commander. Kick her ass. Roger that. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I've never been more happy. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, no. So much for your frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces. So it does carefully. shock you. Win this thing. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now. She has a lot of experience over, over my trainer. people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari maidens tactics and strategy through this game. Trainer is helping the war. You're not that good. Watch silently. Like. My gut is to let Trainer be Trainer. Kind of. I mean, obviously the lady's good. I don't want to just be a liar. Trainer is helping the war, which is not a lie. I love this tense music so much. So I'm between Trainer is helping the war and Watch Silently. Watch Silently feels kind of neutral. I don't know if I, I want to do that. I don't want to say you're not that good. Just because if Trainer ends up winning, you know, that I want this like, you're very good, and my friend beat you. That's what I want. So, your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations. Yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. Oh yeah. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her. But they're more period. important things like this game. Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Yes. Shock her. Again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. Amazing. Amazing. Damn. I was hoping that lady would just be unconscious here for the rest of the game. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh man. Zaid is also here too. I like these. These are like short and sweet, just three games worth of payoff. Here he is. He's at the claw machine. What is Zaid doing at the claw machine? You're mine, you bastard. God damn it. 
Said? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? <laughs> Got any credit, Shepard? Say please, stand aside. Want to do something else? Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kids game? You really want one of those plushy toys. <laughs> Goddamn right I do. Okay then. Credits. I want he... Uh, yeah, I can't do it. It's gotta be him. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's gotta use his manners once in a while. Please. Easy. Easy. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart-ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. How much has he sunk into this thing? Huh? Alright. Yes! You got one! Here you go, sweetheart. I want that toy. Okay, Zaid. We're two. How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? More claw? Dude, I want that toy. Do they make cool Mass Effect action figures? If they had, like, a robust line with a very diverse group of characters, I would not mind adding that to my collection. Do they? Okay. You guys can send me some links so I can see. There's a Garrus body pillow. Well, that, is, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, does Zaid want to play more Claw? Move on, you conquered it. I mean, let's play, man. But this time, you play with your own damn credit. Yeah. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Addiction? Already? I'm an all in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. I'm happy that he has something to enjoy. Great prizes! You could win! I kinda wanna play. 500 credits! What will you win? Something good. Congratulations, you're a winner. Yes. Win a prize. What will you win? That's good. That's enough. We don't have to do any more. We will not. We will not do any more. We will not do any more. No, we will not. No, no, we won't do any more. No more. What you gonna use for best armor penetration? 
as if anyone carries two guns anymore. It's elementary. Sound like Steve Blue. Alright, we uh, purchase party supplies at the bar. And then Garrus is also at the bar. We get to go see our buddy Garrus. I think it's everything in here unless we want to play more at the arcade. Is this the uh, casino that we were in? Sure looks like it. Wait, this is seven. This is the Silver Coast Casino. The bar is at the front, is that it? The bar is upstairs. That's right. Is there any interesting things happening? Cool. Let's play some more games if we want to. Just having a look around. There was a... What's this? Examine the waterfall. Please do not touch the waterfall. The fountain is decorative. Do not touch. Please keep your hands out of the water. Can't touch water. Touch. Okay, so over here it seems like we can buy supplies. Party supplies! Done. The bartender here. Liquors, ale, spirits, you name it, I got it. You like the music? How can I help you? Ooh, I do not interact with it all. Are we gonna? Are we gonna dance with Garrus? Is that gonna happen? I'm so excited. The dancers are gone. He looks so great! Turians usually do with their time off. Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? <laughs> I was thinking a date. A date? Excuse me. <gasps> we can I saw to be you his checking out my here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hello, and... Mm. Garrus, you're so smooth, but... You're the bad boy. <laughs> She's pretty. Yeah, she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but... Decent, overall. Oh. Thank you. I think. Small talk. Come here often. 
I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. I'm here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and I should probably just go do it. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus, and I'd love to have a drink with you. Okay. I hope he had a great time. He better had a great time. That was a pretty slick move. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go close this door over here real quick, guys. <laughs> Lisa back. <laughs> Wing chef. That's good. Okay, so that's everybody here at the Silver Sun Strip. So now do I, I go back to the apartment, I suppose, at this point? That would make sense to me. I think the exit is this way. Yes. Some stuff is not on the map. We can do a little bit of a look around here. Maybe head over to five this way. Max Arena. So this is uh, this is that place I got that email from. New player, new player. You play easy, fight lady. Pretty queen, follow me. Damn it, I wasn't looking. Alright. No, okay. She's there. And then. Well, I can't see. I think these Vorka are fucking with me. So here's the arena. Which is very cool. Athletes only. The VI. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Armax Arsenal Arena. Armax Arsenal and the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board have registered you for a complimentary competitor's pass. You may start a match by going downstairs and selecting simulator options. When you are ready, enter the locker room. Okay. They got a, a bar here, Blasto 6. <laughs> the next match will be starting soon. Good luck to the competitors. Section 1040. Combat simulator upgrades. Bronze token. It's cool. 
let's uh, go down here and see. Aria has cleaned up at all of these things, man. Wow. Open the email system to receive messages from Armax Arena and fans, okay? Welcome to your AAA experience. What? Hold on. Alright, the danger is fake, but the excitement is real. New athletes can challenge the Cerberus and get enemy sets. I feel like they haven't realized that the Geth are cool, and maybe we shouldn't be using them as our sport. Uh, even though I know that they're just virtual. But still, so are Geth. Bonus points can be acquired by finishing the match quickly. Okay. Select levels. Let's select this one. Wingman. Blasteroids. Do wingman. Select enemy. We'll go Cerberus. Score modifier. What allies do I want? I want Caden and James. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Fuck. All right, level select. Shit. Here. Okay. Open. The next match will be starting soon. Good luck to the competitors. What do I do now? Manual. You can do armor there, you can do weapons there, and we can start here. Let's give it a shot! Alright, let's uh, upgrade this Reeve. Increase damage. And for James, we'll do the last of the fortification. Damage protection. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, it's combat night in the Armax Arsenal Arena. Cool. We're in a volume. Alright, what are we doing?
Bad about that. It's fun. Fun. We got a silver prize, so let's go to the silver token shop. Redeem silver prize. View store inventory. Um, which one do we want? Choose Reaper enemies for your matches. Let's pick that one. Alright. That was fun. We will leave. So we can go back here, check messages, and invite people, right? Catalog. Oh, this is where I can change in. Let's do Deluxe Vanity. Simple betting. Kind of like Wholesome Kitchen. Let's do the Cozy Sofa. And Basic Recliner. Tables, we'll do light coffee table, and wall decorations, amber accent wall, artistic shelving. Um, let's see, Super Fodder uh, donated uh, $5 12 minutes ago. Thank you very much, Super Fodder. 
very much appreciate it. And guys, remember, we are uh, raising money for UNICEF to benefit Ukraine. So if you are uh, able, we definitely would appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Private terminal. So I can send invitation. Invite up email and send invitations. Is there a certain order in which I should do things? There are certain, like, uh, what's the right word? Cycle in which I should do things? So you send invitations last. Okay. Invitations last. Invite up first. Okay, cool. Can I invite up everybody? Invite James to the apartment, Miranda, and Tally. Let's uh, do. Let's invite James first. Hey, loco. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is... I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know... Water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. Hey, is it true you and Tally are, uh, you know, together? Yeah. Why? How do you two... I mean, is she, you know, under that suit? Do quarians have... Uh, never mind. I don't really want to know. You want to know. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? <laughs> oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. Whoa, cool. What do you think? It does suit you. I can't pull that off, but look at this guy. He can pull it off. Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before, and I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. <laughs> I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. <laughs> Catch you later, Chef. Okay. Oh, he's he's still here. Does he just hang out here now? What the hell? No way. What? Yeah, punching bag, man. You've been holding out on me. Oh man, <clears throat> this is sweet. Chat bar? Just gonna work out together. And a leather jacket. <clears throat> what have we here? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? 182? Maybe. How much do you weigh? Oh, this should be good. Okay. Oh, okay. I hit Renegade too. <clears throat> oh yeah. Am I trying to hit a record? <clears throat> this is the most intense gaming experience. <clears throat> Of my life. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> 
Is it always just back and forth? Uh huh. No, it is not. <laughs> Why are we doing this? <clears throat> I'm not eating pizza while Shepard does pull-ups. <clears throat> That's 20. <clears throat> do I just, do I? Is there a benefit to beating his record? What happens if I do beat it? Like, it's worth it? Nothing. Pride. Keep going. Bragging rights. <clears throat> There's so much to do, guys. <laughs> oh, this might take a while. You think? I'm gonna keep going. It is 717. I'm gonna go until 720. Unless we get some donations rolling in. If we get some donations rolling in for Ukraine, I'll keep going. But I only got a couple minutes left in me. Got a ways to go, my friend. Less than three minutes. <clears throat> And again, it is for UNICEF, not for Blind Wave. 40, nice! Oh, we're at 40. We just got a donation. $20 from Mogret Unleashed. So I'll go until. Getting tired just watching you. 723. <laughs> That's so long. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason, but thank you so much for your donation to uh, Relief and. Ukraine. <clears throat> Cerveza? <clears throat> Shove it. Martin LeFay says anything to make it stop. Ten dollars. <laughs> <clears throat> Go, Eric. Keep the pull-ups coming. Twenty dollars from Anonymous. Mr. Shiv. Thirty dollars for the one twenty for the one. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta do this. Keep on pulling the damn bars. It's Felipe. Ten dollars. Twenty dollars from Funny. Lise Grand. More pull-ups. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> We're doing it. For Ukraine. <laughs> Smashing success. Taran from New Zealand. Uh, IP freely. More pull-ups. Keep going. Anonymous, $10. 100% completion, Eric. You got it from Bug Eye. <laughs> you guys are crazy. And we know what? We're all crazy. Together. How many more do we have? <laughs> nice form. Yeah. The, the they keep pouring in. I don't want to miss my props. Five dollars from anonymous. It says hold the line. 
Twenty dollars from Tally. Tally guy, do it. Twenty dollars from Peculiar Maz. Who says, "Keep going, Eric." Hold the bar. <clears throat> Franziska, twenty dollars, pull up for Ukraine. Shepard's really struggling. Pull ups for Ukraine. We got twenty dollars from Cat Loki. <clears throat> oh my gosh. That's halfway to my record. Halfway? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Keep going. Five dollars from Jeff Knott. Halfway. <laughs> Crazy Cat, $20. Oh my gosh. Well, it does seem like it's happening quicker. I wonder if when you get really close, it's hair trigger, and I know I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna suck. 100. 100. That's impressive. What is his uh, record? Thanks. Just 82 to go. 82. <sighs> 182. <clears throat> One pull up for your mama. <laughs> Says Outcast. Thank you, Outcast. My hands are sweating. <clears throat> you know, most people would be happy with just a hundred. You're right. Shepard's not most people. <clears throat> <clears throat> we have uh, Alice Fro, <clears throat> Legicus, a hundred dollars from Legicus. <clears throat> Legicus says, keep it up halfway there. $20 from Kimmy. This doesn't count as your podcast workout, Eric. Nope. <laughs> We're doing it, everybody. For Ukraine. Rob says it's too deep to stop now. Beat the record. Good stuff, Hefe. Physically fit, Ukraine. Jagoon. Sixty dollars. Thank you. This is this is mentally taxing for me. I gotta keep up here. I gotta keep up here. This is the height of gameplay. So worried, I'm gonna press the wrong one. <laughs> You're gonna be ripped, man. If I press the wrong one, do I fall? If I wait too long, do I fall? asked me what the Citadel DLC was going to be, <clears throat> I didn't know we could reach such heights. <clears throat> I didn't know. <clears throat> and guys, we're at 
1,590. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you so much. close to Shepard's face. I feel like things are going faster. I gotta focus. Just thinking about that pizza sitting on the couch over there. This is my favorite bar on the Citadel. Rep for your crane. Five dollars, thank you. <clears throat> so, so intense. Didn't think you'd get this far. I know, James, I know. But we're doing it for Ukraine. We're doing it. We're doing it! <clears throat> 169? 170? I haven't been keeping track, I'm just trusting you guys, and you're behind. You're behind me. <laughs> <clears throat> this is a workout. Aiden. <clears throat> Our, my editor for the highlights, so I want to apologize for what you're having to sit through. But we're doing it for Ukraine. <clears throat> we're so close. We're so close. <clears throat> we can do it! <gasps> What's happening? Ah! Holy we did it! Hell you did it! I, I don't know what to say. How you feeling? You know what? We raised some money for Ukraine. Damn good. Like I could do another 183. Uh huh. Whatever you say, loco. Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't. I won't. Man. Come on, let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> we did it, everybody. Particular Moz just gave $183. $183 for 183 pull-ups. Ahsoka, $10, use the force. Thank you guys so much for making that. What we just saw, one of the hypest parts of the stream. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, uh, let's go invite more people up. Yeah, the jacket does need a wash, doesn't it? Um, should I invite more people up, or should I go do more stuff? I want to make sure that I'm doing the absolute best I can, because I know that uh, there's this invite up. Whoa! Anonymous just gave $250 as a reward for making it up to 183 pull-ups. Slava Ukraine. Oh, man, thank you, Anonymous, and thank you, everybody. We just blew past our already raised goal. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm not raising it anymore. This has been a very successful night, uh, and we're going we're gonna to invite, and then we're going to go out. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Let's invite up Miranda. Miranda, 
Good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. You would have noticed that I My was a clone, right? Back, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. Among other things. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Oh yeah, she's a clone too, isn't she? Did you know anything about this? Yeah. Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Mm -hmm. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. Yeah. I mean, really. A clone? <laughs> it is the truth. Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. Yep. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Shepard, you didn't. No, no, I didn't. I did. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. <laughs> hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Yeah. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real shepherd? Good question. I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone did or you? not, I'm the only shepherd left. What if she did? Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. It's a nice little scene. Oh, I'm in control here. Okay, I was like, what's happening? So is Miranda still here like James was? Does she stick around or? Oh, he's gone. Okay. I will just do a quick once over to make sure she's not still here, but I don't think so. Uh, Cash, uh, Rockenstein Sky said, uh, I can do 184, but I should go. $20, thank you so much. Oh yeah, uh, let's go invite Tally now. Yay, Tally! Invite. What, what happens with Tally? Hey, the cool shepherd. Got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line from Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony. I don't think I've ever seen that. Did. What? You've never. How could you Are not we get have... Netflix and chill? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. But shall I? We can never be together. I have my duty. And you this is cute. have your people. How did you like? Tonight, I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. He 
you watch this a lot? With the lovers from two different worlds? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover, we memorized the lyrics from the musical. Oh, we can activate sing-along mode. I'm so in love. She is so cute. I had no idea you were so into this. Uh. This vid FTL jumped me into puberty. And who doesn't love a good cross species FTL romance? FTL jumped me into puberty. <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't count as cringe for me. I can see why some people might think so, but no. That's wholesome. It's important to her. It's, you know, a piece of her childhood mixing with a piece of her adult relationship. It really feels like she let Shepard in on that, on that one. I really liked it. Whew, okay. Um, let's see, so that's everybody to invite for now. Let's go check our messages. Shore leave activities from Edie Shepard. As part of my education, I think it would be appropriate if you and I participated in rituals found in all human cultures. Reply, and we can meet at the new apartment. Okay. Combat sim Jack from Jack Shep. I hear this Silver Sun strip place has a combat simulator. I feel like kicking the crap out of something. Get your ass down here if you're game. Oh, cool. All work and no play makes Steve Cortez. Okay. Um, Shepard, now that I've got a little downtime on the Citadel, I wanted to share something with you. I'm taking the shuttle down to Silver Sun Strip. Meet me there. Okay. We can do that. We can inv invite up Edie. Should we go to the, the Strip first, or should we... Uh, Invite up Edie first. What do you guys think? We'll do Edie. Okay, we won't do Edie. We will invite Edie up to the apartment respectfully. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? Shopping. I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jack has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and quote, live it up like a girly girl. <laughs> you don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime. But that would look bad on a resume. Hmm. We'll get you all fun sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Uh, yeah. Something that you both like, a shared interest that you can bond over. Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the That's Presidium. That's a lot. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour. 
making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Yeah. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail what? to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bank Oh yeah, because he would be you buying it himself, right? I see. Perhaps for a day <laughs> or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. I thought Shepard would offer to pay for it or something. Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Yeah. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material huh. shortages, only a few exist. That's cool. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you valuing me? You are valued. It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive law files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Liara, okay. Got all the shopping done? All right. That was fun. Check messages. That's all. Let's head out. These ever get more options or are this all bought? They're all bought. Alright, so we have Cortez and Jack. Okay, let's go over to Rapid Transit and talk to Cortez. Or wait for Cortez. Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. Cool. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Yeah, this is awesome. But there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa. my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Want to really feel it? Yeah! Show me. Show me. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> you see? It doesn't take much to pull a few Gs. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Sure. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. Maybe Joker. <laughs> no, Fortunate he's the shuttle have, pilot. Indeed. Anytime, Shepard. That was cool. This is a nice, uh... It almost feels a way of, like, getting closure with everybody as we end the... End the, the end of the game, though. I suppose if this was DLC, 
I suppose a lot of you played this without getting this this kind of closure with everybody. So, it's really cool. Um, we also had a uh, donation from Anonymous $10 eight minutes ago. Thank you very much, Anonymous. All right, uh, we got Jack at the arena. Um, yeah, and then if we do have stuff that's not on the map, I definitely don't mind being told just in the sake of time and not missing anything. So we can look once again at the bar. Casino, there's a missable one near the machines. Like these machines here. Hey, pretty nice game you've got going. Yeah, whatever. Thanks, man. So what's your trick? That's more than 2,500 credits you've got there. It's gonna be a trick to it. No tricks. That guy's really going. Waterfall. The fountain is decorative. Is this more pee? Please keep your hands out of the water. Please do not touch the waterfall. Come on, come on. I'm gonna say that is not the waterfall. Let's go up to the bar. I haven't, I don't think I've seen what that missable one is yet. What should we do first? We can wait at the bar and we can dance. First, we dance! For Joker. I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. Mm -hmm. Shepard, when I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the council. This is our chance. Oh shit, Cerberus. Amazing. Ha <laughs> ha It's Joker. He can barely walk. Such a sad training camp doing stop? Cerberus. <laughs> He's getting in a mech. Wow, the ultimate like pilot. This. It's joking time. Oh, we were fools to underestimate Joker. Oh no! <laughs> yes, you were. Oh my God! <laughs> Damn. And that's pretty 
pretty much how it happened. Which is why you should comp my drinks. No. Oh, come on! I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Joker is telling uh, the truth! Hi! I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. Get this man a drink. I have no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Yes! Uh... Thanks, Commander. You can pay me back later. <laughs> that was cool. What can I get you? See? I did not... I would not have wanted to miss that. So thanks very much for pointing that one out. Okay, we gotta see if we can find what's going on down here. Something to do with the machines. I don't see anything over here. What was that? It's like a hollow gold or something like that. Huh? Suspicious device? What's this? <gasps> hit the con. Pursue me! Distract the bouncer. Birch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. Are they robbing the place? You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Birk, steal a uniform. You go in as security. Fake the arrest. Whoops. I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi. <laughs> Whoops. Take a walk. <laughs> the wrong casino. I can explain. Eh, don't worry about I it. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. All that it's money. not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. Okay. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? No. Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me. Is there a problem? No. No problem at all. Shepard's good, but he's not too good. That was cool. Definitely wouldn't want to miss that either. Kimmy and the stars, thank you very much. No Alright, we have Jack at the arena that wants to do a match, it looks like.
jack right over here. Hey, glad you could make it. I've got us set up. Oh, that was quick. Alright, 13 points to uh, Shepard, but I'm all maxed out. But Jack, 59 points. Not 69, but anyway, 59 points. Uh, it's cool. We get to fight with Jack here. Let's do damage. 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 Recharge. Suspend for short. Let's do this one. Um, subject zero. Recharge speed. Health and shield bonus. Uh, increase power. Weapon damage. Recharge. It's a squad bonus. Let's do the squad bonus. Ammo or warp ammo. Okay. Gain warp ammo with her on there. Uh, increase headshot damage by 25. Ammo capacity. Let's do headshot damage. Let's do Enhanced Warp. Um, damage. This one. Kind of making it arbitrary. <laughs> Picks here. And here. Oh no, we don't have enough here. Okay, that's good. I feel good about this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just me and Jack. I was talking about you. 
get a reward for that one? That match was rigged. What are you talking about? There's no way we're on the one team should have won. Combat I don't know. Okay. Alright, uh, that seems to be it here, unless there's any other, uh, um, not on the map interactions you guys know of. That was cool. Retry the bar? Okay. Stairs, right? Maybe back to the apartment. We'll see. We can dance. And I don't think there's anything extra at the bar here, no. So we'll do that again next time. So let's head back to the apartment. It seems like Bioware went all out in this DLC. Like, it seems so rewarding for longtime fans. Like, I don't know if I've quite seen a, a DLC like this before. A new message, and we can maybe invite. I don't know if we can invite more people or not, but we'll look. Private terminal. All right, email. So from Caden, let's be go out and be normal people. You know what? You need Shepherd. You need a night where you can just hang out, and try to be normal for a few hours. Let's get something to eat. After that, you can go down to the strip or wherever you want. Let me know. Night off from Liara. Shepard, I thought it might be nice to spend some time away from the Normandy. I don't have anything particular in mind. Perhaps we can meet at your apartment and decide from there. Uh, memorial service. Oh, Commander. I was uh, somewhat surprised to receive a calm call from the Council. They would like to hold what humans call a memorial service. Where it is held does not matter so much as who attends. I would like you to be there, as well as those people on the Normandy who knew my father. I understand that human services people speak well of the dead. It seems appropriate for you to conduct, conduct this part as the commander of the Normandy. To be honest, I am somewhat, somewhat nervous I might recall an inappropriate memory in front of everyone. Thank you, that would mean a great deal to me. It's for, uh, for Thane, right? Curious. Well, I'm going to check that out, definitely. Uh, official input required. Commander Shepard from CSEC. Your presence has been requested concerning an incident involving a Krogan identified as Grunt. Please report to CSEC officer. On patrol at the Silver Sun Strip for additional details. Oh, Grunt. <laughs> what have you gotten into? Uh, and come hang out from Jacob Shepard. 
So, the Normandy's in dry dock. Seems like the perfect chance to hang out, find some trouble. Meet you outside the arcade on the main level if you're game. All right. Cool. So, we got some more, and we have invites here as well. Caden... We have the Memorial Service and Liara. Let's do Caden and then Liara and then the Memorial Service. And then we'll head back out. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. I'm so tired of Apollo's. I'm gonna cook. Oh, no. Really? He's gonna cook. <laughs> Come on! You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. Yeah, fun in the kitchen. You can cook with him. What are we having? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Canadian delicacy? <laughs> uh, sure. Exactly. We have, uh, beef. We have bacon. We have beer. The foods of my the people. Foods of my people. Wish me luck. <sighs> this better not suck. <laughs> if you need luck to cook us dinner, we're screwed. Screwed? Oh, you hurt me, Shepard. Relax. It's gonna be great. Guess we'll find out. What's going on the TV? So, remember how I saved the Citadel? And then, well, you weren't there. I survived a suicide mission. All these close calls I've had, only to be taken out by dinner. <laughs> Can it at least be quick and painless? <sighs> Funny. But you think I hauled your butt out of the fire all those times just to poison you here now? I just took down my clone. I gotta figure anything's possible. True. Huh. We have hot sauce. That was great. Still waiting for the botulism to kick in. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was pretty good. Yeah, but come on, he's having a good time. Actually, it was pretty good. I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm an enigma. I've got skills. I mean, for example, fist fight, me and James. And I'd win, right? And what if I fought dirty? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, you have uh, you have some powers that might work. You can use those to fight dirty, and then maybe. All right, Liara. Greetings, Commander. It's really cool. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why is that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. Hmm. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. 
I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just nice. spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? <laughs> I suppose how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis? Yeah, I am a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I should go. I you have learned a that from to me look too. over. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? Aww. She's here too. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your report so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard. Shepard. Alright, she just hangs out for a bit. That's good. All right. Um, so next, we need to have a, a memorial service for Thane, and you are correct in that we need to change our casual set. We're gonna be a little bit more formal. I'm thinking this uh, military uniform might be a good one. What do you guys think? I think it's a good one. Formal uniform. Alright, that should have saved. And it did, because I am wearing it. <laughs> so let's go and... Uh, let's think about our buddy Thane. Who in his last moments prayed for me. Can you do this DLC before Thane dies? I wonder or no okay I didn't know really I think about that in terms of like characters that are alive or not can you do that okay let's do it we are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. And others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? It's cool that Bale is here. What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important, but let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all it's who cool hear them. That. that is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around, 
in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Yeah. Colyat, do you, uh... be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies but when he prevented me from from hurting someone he had changed he said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones I didn't want to hear it I was lost I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways said that he was going soft now I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Kepril's syndrome, it would be them. Yeah. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. I appreciate I have the fire. offer, but Counselor Valorant has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help. More than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Oh. Uh. I mean, it's not going to be Blasto, but I'm sure it's going to be a son of a bitch. Okay, let's go do it. Check messages. First message. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time, but in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. Child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. All right, message one, and now message two. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Polyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from the news reports about you. Man. I have tried a false 
identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Polyot and I took a few days to visit Earth. I visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Trill the sound of tripping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico. And a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Polyot has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. I so wish there was a fourth message. Finship, and then you romance him, you get a fourth message. That's nice. I might have to look at that sometime. Alright, let's change back to my jacket. I like the jacket. Ugh. Love this game. So much. Alright. I think we have more people to go out and see on this trip. But just in case, we'll see no new emails and no inviting, so let's go. I'm really curious to see what Grunt got into with C-Sec. <laughs> uh. So we have the CSEC officer to talk about Grunt and then Jacob at the Castle Arcade. Let's go talk to the CSEC officer. He's over here somewhere, or she. I'm not sure. Right here. Officer. Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. Right this way, Commander. Okay. What has Grunt done? Or got done to him. Noodle house. So, Brunt. Anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call. Straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. He's my boy. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. <laughs> but you were in that hospital recovering from the Ragnar encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. That was so Most badass. Most people stick around long enough to survive that. You know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Before I sign you up. Everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital's seen better days, though. <laughs> <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. <laughs> it didn't oh my out. god. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's your birthday? No. I'm tank bread, remember? <laughs> anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. <laughs> and the Presidium? Oh. Oh, yeah, the statue. Yeah. When CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about the. Oh, he's having a good fire. time. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. Teenagers. 
CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Everything's on fire! They sprayed us down with riot foam. It, it didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. Teenagers. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Fabricate story. You should make amends. Uh, I'm kind of... I don't know. Usually I have no problem with the top option, but Fabricate Story could be fun. Will he learn from me? I don't know. Hmm. I think I want to go Fabricate. I don't know. Both are good. Fabricate story. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. Operation Fire Cobra Claw? Fire Cobra Claw. That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. Fire Cobra Claw. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, Officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. <laughs> I love you, Grunt. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was good. All right, Jacob is at six. <laughs> Let's uh, go see if this bar thing worked out or not. Uh, we need to go this way. Right? Yeah, this way and then over here. Wait, uh, Jacob is up at six. The bar is the Silver Coast. That was a funny one. I like that. Up, up the stairs. What should we do first? There is a wait here. Wait for Rex! been riding you? Bah! Not those project shit slingers. No, it's the... It's the female shepherd. Now that they're fertile again. Making babies. Uh, I haven't slept in... I don't know how long. Can I get you two anything? Two more drinks. And another bag of ice. <laughs> bag of ice. <laughs> I would have thought you'd be enjoying the perks of Krogan fertility. Enjoying it? There's a line of females outside my dwelling right now. It stretches on for as far as you can see. I had to sneak out my own bathroom window. Even then, I was cornered by two more females on the ride from Tuchonka. And it's just you? Did he put on an X body spray or something? Sure, but everyone wants their firstborn in generations to be strong and fit. I'm the leader of Clan Erdnot. I brought an end to the genophage. Everyone on Tuchanka wants a piece of me. And Bakar is no help at all. She encourages She encourages it. it. I'm telling you, Shepard, I'm in no shape to fight Reapers. It really could be worse, man. Considering everything we've been through, I can think of worse positions to be in. Trust me, I've been in every position in the past few days. Here are your drinks. Here's the drinks. And a bag of ice. For his nuts. Mm. I 
thought Morden's procedure was painful. Oh well. <laughs> Shit, Shepard. We sure have been through it, haven't we? Still going through it. <laughs> True. Well, here's to us. And then going through it. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Football! That means victory or death, roughly. Ah, but you can't die, Rex. You've got a family now. A really big family. Ah, more ice! <laughs> oh, that was a really good one, too. I mean, every single one of them has been great. Uh. Jacob is at the Castle Arcade. How do I get to that? That way, to the right up here, okay. Wait for Jacob. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by, good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R and R. You? Exactly, same thing. Hey, Jacob, I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. Huh. What hey, about brother. us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Okay. Let's do it. Great. This is your game of skill. Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk? That shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't think so. Oh no, I need to let him win. Step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough these not having look a up squad to, to carry you. You're on. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. You're crowding me. Am I? Do I try to win or do I let him win? Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's do this. Alright, let's do it. We're gonna try to win. I'm glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Is that all you got? You crying yet, Jacob? Check it out, Shepard. Feel that? That's the feeling of doom. Never mind. Thank Shit! You. I'm gonna lose! Good job, Jacob. Not my day. Congrats, Jacob. You did a good job. Ah, uh, probably let me win. Yeah, Come on, probably. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. Good for him. <laughs> All righty. Welcome to Castle Arcade. That's the wrong way. Looks like that's everything of the point of interest. So unless there's nothing else to see out here, we'll go back to the apartment. Later, that same ex on We'll see if we have any more messages. Yep, 
message. Rain check, uh, trainer. Thanks for sticking around to watch me go head to head with Tasuna. T. Susa. Sorry again for messing up our lunch plans. Love to get a rain check. Let me know whenever you're free. I'll come by. Okay. Uh, Jack, had fun kicking some holographic ass with you. Good to see you haven't lost it without me around to keep you in line. I've got a bit more leave, so let me know when you're around and want to kill some time. Uh, Samara, Shepard. I over overheard yet another news report about you today, and I thought I'd write to see how you were doing. I'm currently on the Citadel, so if there's any way I can be of assistance to you, please do not hesitate to call. Uh, Goodwill Games, Steve Cortez, Shepard, the Seattle Sorcerers are taking on the Usaru Maestros in Biotaball. Biotaball. Uh, should be epic. You recently acquired an apartment with a sweet vid screen. Coincidence? James and I don't think so. You provide the couch, we'll provide the refreshments. Just let us know. This is cool. Uh, pencil me in. Miranda Lawson, Shepard, care for a night out. Let's get dressed up and meet in the casino. I'll be the one in red. Mm, okay. Yeah, we can do that. Let's uh, invite up... Uh, yeah, Cortez to watch a game. Sorry we're late. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. Come on in. That somebody was you. I like these two being friends. Didn't say it was. So when's the game? It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna Maestros. be some intense by Audible. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. In the middle of a war with their troops watching, they'll give it their all. Yeah. Absolutely. Have you guys seen Derek Rogers' game lately? Man, he and the Sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the Maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassana's play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. <laughs> hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, you telling me you don't got the hots for some of the Sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle Sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. They were on tour when Earth was hit. Uh... Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the Hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So, Shep, who's it gonna be? feel like I want to go with the Sorcerers, just in terms of, like, an underdog story. The Maestros, just because they're Asari, have way more experience uh, just because they live longer, right? So, and, you know, Earth needs a win. Let's go with the Sorcerers. You don't bet against the home team. Mr. Vega, I hope you're hungry for humble pie. When has our commander ever been wrong? Come on, man, the game started. Merda, he was out! You're blind, ref! Alright, so let's win! Yes! They did it! Now pay up! Hey, why didn't you let me in on the betting? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. Oh. And everyone knows you don't bet against Shepard. <laughs> anyway, it was a hell of a game. It's good. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. That's cool. Good job, Earth. Commander, I see you have purchased the necessary party supplies. When you are ready, you can send invitations from your private terminal. I'm not going to, but I just spoke to him. All right, let's go with invite up. Uh, let's go with trainer. Yeah. 
You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Go ahead. Cheers! <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, this is lovely. Alright, I'll skip good it. for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats and public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach too, and an inhaler for asthma. Gotcha. You have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill, trainer. A placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. <laughs> and now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. <laughs> there was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah. This is Anderson's apartment, remember? Oh, he I might have doubt a he has a... Found one. He's got a Somebody loofah. left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and, you know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? Oh. She has great taste and adjustable massage yep, oils. I do know who Kay Sanders is. This <laughs> next trainer's okay. <laughs> well, now we know why the hot tub's there. Okay. Alright, invite up. We'll invite up Jack. So what? A private cabin on a stealth warship isn't enough for you? <laughs> I'm watching the place for a friend. What are you doing? Calling Izo. Izo? Izo. <gasps> yeah, he's from Thessia. Naturally biotic from all the elements zero. Their biotics make them short-tempered, so a lot of them get abused or abandoned. Can you imagine someone doing that? I found him at a rescue place. I'm trying to teach him that it's okay to trust <laughs> Through a pan? He started out really angry, but I've been giving him lots of love, and now he's a big old softy. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. He seems like a good pet. Yeah. Who's my badass biotic? Oh. Who's my badass biotic? Useless. <laughs> that was sweet. I love these little tiny stories we're getting here. <sighs> Izo. The pet Varen. I'm sure the kids love that. Alright, now we have Samara. I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. When I saw you were on the Citadel, I wanted to see you again. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we going to stand on formalities? These big picture windows remind me of our talks on the Normandy's observation. Ah, cool. Open the blinds. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars. But I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Very much. Hey, look what I found. An old issue of Justicar Heroes, May 2140. It says that you personally lifted 50 refugees across a raging floodplain on Nevos after smugglers blew up a dam. Hm. That news source has been known to exaggerate. So you didn't almost drown while saving a child who had been torn from her mother's grasp? The smugglers were not so lucky that I survived. Are there more stories like this? Perhaps. 
You might be amused by the June 2085 issue. Justicar Samara, cold-blooded justice runs hot. Mm. It is not so difficult for me to find stories of your exploits. Yeah. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? It's nice. It's humbling. But honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. It's nice. Can I open the blinds anytime I want, or... I don't think so. I didn't realize that, like, there's literally people right there. You can see into my apartment! Alright, I think that was the last one of those. Yes. Uh, and the email is empty, so now we can go back out. I think we had some stuff out here. So, uh, I imagine we're not going to get to the party portion of the DLC tonight. Um, and what people are talking about, too, is that there are versions of the party that you could possibly save and see other ones or something like that um which i'm not opposed to doing so maybe that will be our stream next time is seeing both versions of the party because apparently it's long so yeah so we'll finish out this stuff for this stream at the casino for Miranda. The red dress. It's very sorry looking. Miranda? You clean up well, Shepard. Oh, I just realized Shepard's in these clothes, too. Roulette. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do. Just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. I have to say I'm a bit surprised. I thought you might be. I can be... Severe. That's a good word for it. You're focused. Believe me, I understand. I was thinking about our talk earlier, about having a normal life. Damn, I'm not very good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Look around you. It's a room full of great ideas. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling, and wasting time. Right. There's dancing. Need more wine. Bring the lady more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. We're just friends out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. 
<laughs> can definitely tell that you can have romance options here with this one, but it's a nice, sweet, friendly scene, too. All right. Uh, I think that's everybody. So, we'll head back to the apartment. Yeah, it seems like other than the party, that's probably going to be uh, everything for this DLC. So, And you guys were saying that the party is pretty long and that we could possibly watch alternate versions. So I guess that means just doing a save, watching a version of the party... I don't really know what that means, a version of, or how you trigger it. And then we'll reset and do a different version. So, anyway. Um, yeah, we're going to head back here. It is, it's 8.52. Um, we'll just make sure we have nothing left uh, as the messages are over here. But this has been a great stream. I am endlessly impressed and excited by just how huge this piece of DLC has been. Um, it really has. So, anyway. Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty good. So, we're probably gonna have one more DLC stream, possibly getting into the end game next time, but who knows. And then, uh, yeah. We probably only have two streams of Mass Effect left. And it's been so long. I've been playing this game for a year. Isn't that crazy? It's really crazy to think about, but I've been playing it that long. And I love it. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to wait on Andromeda. Andromeda. Uh, do something in between and come back to it. I want to keep the trilogy isolated by itself, so. Yeah, it's been like a year, and what needs to happen is you guys need to bully some of the other Blindwood members into playing. I know Calvin has played Mass Effect, but both Rick and Aaron haven't, so. Yeah. Um, do... Okay, so I'll just start next stream with sending out the invitations. We're gonna go ahead and drop down a save. And uh, that's going to be it for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I want to thank each and every one of you, not just for being here, but especially people that donated uh, to UNICEF tonight. That turned what could have been one of the most boring elements of the DLC, which is breaking uh, the uh, Vega's record, into one of the most harrowing and excited parts where we did pull-ups for Ukraine. And I've never done pull-ups for anything, so that was awesome. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you back here next week for a party. Have a good one.